Hey guys, I'm Sarah. We are looking at how to start selling, even if you've never sold anything before in today's video. Just start. So you found your why, your reason you want to start a handmade business. If you haven't, go back and watch that video. You know what you're good at, or maybe you're still thinking about what you want to do, what to sell. If you still need ideas, look on Etsy, look at bestsellers, look through all the different categories. What speaks to you? What would you buy? What looks good? What are the bestsellers? And now it's time to start. I know that some of you may be thinking, whoa, whoa, wait. I am not quite ready. I need to think about this for 400 more days. I need to plan. I need to, no, we are starting. No press, no more procrastination. We're just going to go. That's why today's video will be helpful. It's kind of like dipping your toe in the pool. A small start, baby steps, just a taste of what selling is. And it's easy. To get you more comfortable with the idea of selling, if you've never done any selling, we are going to start small. Have you ever had a garage sale or sold some toys your kid had outgrown or old furniture, a used car? I used to have garage sales, but now I generally post on Facebook Marketplace or my local news stations app. Take a couple pictures and some descriptions and in no time, I'm getting texts about if I'm if whatever I'm selling is still available. Hopefully, you've had similar experiences. We are going to do that, but with a different purpose. Find something in your home that you can sell, something that you've made, updated, or improved. Look around your home and gather everything together so that you can see all the things that you've got. Grab that ornament that you made, that birthday party invitation that you created, the wreath on your door, that wood block that you painted, a holiday decoration, a wall hanging, whatever you've made. It could be for your kids, for your home, for friends, for family, for yourself. Whatever you've got put away in your basement, in a box, in a closet, or scattered throughout your house. Even something that you haven't made, but it's an area you think you'd like to pursue. For example, if you want to sell things in home decor, you can sell a pillow that you've already had. Select one or more items that you're willing to part with and sell them. Put a post up on your neighborhood Facebook group or Facebook marketplace, your local newspaper. Post up on Instagram or eBay or Etsy if you have an existing account. There are lots of sale options. Pick which you are comfortable with, something that you've used before. Just start. Number one, gather all of your handmade items or the items that are in the area that you'd like to pursue. Select one or more items that you would like to sell that you're okay parting with and sell them. Pick an app, whatever app you're comfortable with, and go. Ready, set, go. Ready or not, just go, just go. That first step will help make the next step easier and easier and easier. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Arthur Ashe. I know this video was short, but you have homework. If you missed the video about finding your why or the one about finding what you're good at, check them out on my channel. If you have questions, please ask them in the comments. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.